that never sleeps can now take a nap. On Wednesday, Casper opened the Dreamery, a place that lets New Yorkers rest and recharge. New York is opening up a nap emporium where you pay money to go take a nap. They're charging $25 for a nap. To take a nap for 45 minutes. You can purchase the God-given right to sleep. A sleep emporium. That's a place where white people can go to sleep and take power naps for 45 minutes. New York is the city that never sleeps, and now it's gonna be the city that can't afford to. Can we call it the, I just can't even. It's like the most like NYU student shit I've ever heard. This is why people hate millennials. We spend $25 on avocado toast naps, but refuse to get our own Netflix account. <laughs> I'm all for sleeping during the day, but just do it at your desk like a normal person. We had like a bed bug crisis in the city like what, like five years ago? And I think that's just gonna be the uprising of the bed bugs yet again. These bed bugs are coming over and they're gonna ruin everything. <laughs> Can we treat the nap emporium like a roller coaster like midway through like the deepest REM cycle you get your picture taken just <laughs> you can buy it on your way out. Watching the video, it is very comfortable, but it's still not the most comfortable way to sleep in New York City, which is apparently leaning against me on the subway. Like any New Yorker, I think New Yorkers need to fall asleep under a streetlight for the sound of screams. <laughs> Fuck that, do it on the train like everybody else. You nap on the train, you cry on the train, just sit on your wallet and you'll be fine. I used to pay money to take naps when I'd like see my friends' improv groups. <laughs> I've actually taken naps in the Bed Bath & Beyond bed display too. Like you could just do that. I slept in Battery Park City one time. It's all families. You'll be the rattiest person there sleeping in public. Everyone's gonna be afraid of you. In these little pods they have everything from like pillows, blankets, a noise machine that simulates the sound of white people throwing coins into a toilet. We provide pillows. We provide comfort. We provide lotion. You're renting Jack Shacks, basically. <laughs> because as a person who naps, I don't mind knocking one out, but if you're gonna provide the lotion, you're gonna get what you asked me for. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I'm left alone for too long, I can't really be held accountable for the things I'm gonna do, you know? I've masturbated in a tanning bed before. And you know what's that? They'll probably make a boatload of money. This is gonna be like bougie white women, and this is gonna be like the equinox for sleep. The fact that you would open a sleep emporium in a place that has the homeless people that we have goes to show you how shitty we are as a society. Hey man, can I get a dollar? Nah, I need 25 of those, so I go take a 45 minute nap in a place that's not mine. You know what? It's not what we need in New York, but it's what we fucking deserve. I'm not for the nap emporium. I'd rather put another Chick-fil-A there. You know, Chick-fil-A's <laughs> brought more joy to my life than any nap. Here, here, peasants. <laughs> no, you don't deserve to sleep. You don't deserve any happiness. You don't deserve any good tidings. You don't deserve Christmas spirit. Fuck you and your sleep emporium. Sincerely yours, Nico White. <laughs> Nico, I don't feel like we're really getting opinions from you. <laughs>